This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Craig Foster, the CEO of Ondo InsureTech. Following news that the company have announced a new deal with Danish insurance company LB Forsikring to accelerate the distribution of leak bots. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Craig. How are you and happy new year? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you, Mark. Uh, got a bit of a cold coming back to work for the new year, like most of the rest of the country, but happy new year to you too. Well, thank you very much for, for joining us. So just following on from the, the initial order, I think, of 10,000 LeakBot units for this company here, they've actually placed an order for an additional 7,500 units that they want to distribute in Q1. So that's obviously a good share of confidence, is it? Yeah, exactly. So uh, LB Forscring, one of our uh, customers over in Denmark, um, we did a very small pilot with them back in the day, and then we uh, started to roll out into their membership base. So they targeted more high-risk uh, cohorts at the beginning. So initially, they committed to 10,000 uh, units being distributed. Um, they've now completed that, and they've seen really great results. So, um, you know, great performance from a claim-saving point of view, but really great take-up from their membership base. A really good installation rates plus 90 percent installation rates by their customers so they've been pleased with the results and now what they want to do is broaden the distribution across their membership base into more cohorts so it's an acceleration in the deployment yeah and they they think they'll ship seven and a half thousand just in the next uh, three months um so yeah it's a really good road to confidence they've been a great partner to work with so far um, but it's another example of what happens when we do this with insurance companies we deploy mm. the technology they find that they're the homeowners, the insurance customers really uh, like the system and see the benefits of having this in the home. And then they see great results on the back of it and want to do more of it. Well, I thought the quote from uh, the spokesman there from LB Force Green was pretty powerful, where they said, we continue to see a great opportunity with LeakBot to reduce the risks of escape water claims for our members. And our members have been very engaged with LeakBot so far, with the, with the uptake rates exceeding expectations. And they're looking forward to providing more members with the added value of a LeakBot. I mean, have they given you any sort of... Um, verbal or anecdotal quotes to you about how they found the sort of rollout, your ability to ship them with product and the ability to integrate that, any kind of feedback that they've given you verbally and on, you know, to give extra confidence as to why they want to uh, basically go ahead with another seven and a half thousand units. Yeah, sure. Well, the feedback from LB is very consistent with the feedback we get from other partners. So, you know, the model works when you offer this to insurance customers as part of their policy and it's included for free. Um, LB have seen a really good take-up rate to that offer, um, which is consistent that we get with, with with other insurers. So, you know, is leak detection something that people wake up in the morning worrying about? Not particularly, but if your insurance company, which an insurance policy is normally quite an intangible product, it's more, you know, it's a promise on a piece of paper if something was to go wrong. So when they offer you, you know, a physical device for free, um, attached to an in-home service if there's a problem, and all of that's provided for free, um, it's a really great value add. So um, LB have seen that great take-up rate, um, you know, and then we send this in the post and the customer has to install this themselves. And uh, that's the other thing. At the, at the very beginning, insurance companies can be sceptical to say, oh, well, I'm not sure. Will our customers really be bothered to, you know, take this out of the box and attach it to the pipe? But... Um, Really good installation rates with LB, over 90%, um, uh, yeah, you know, high 90s uh, get, get installed by their customers. Uh, but the key, really, the way that we drive value for, for a partner like LB is by actually sending uh, trained plumbers into the home to find and fix the leaks when we, when we fix a problem. And that's really the moment of truth where we really impress customers. When we find they often are a bit sceptical because they can't see a leak. And we find something that was hidden from view, causing damage to the property. And uh, and that's the point when they're, they're really impressed and surprised even still at that point that there's not some extra charge. Mm. Um, so LB have you know experienced that, seen the results, and now want to broaden that out into um, more cohorts, and which is pretty consistent. It's a, it's a really good, you know, small case study of 
what happens when we um, when we deploy this with insurance companies. Okay. And LB, of course, they've seen good uptake there under 10,000. You mentioned there about obviously the repair element. Have they seen that actually work in real time as well? Yeah. So again, we manage the end to end process for them in Denmark. So uh, when we detect a leak, we're contacting the customer through through the system, encouraging them to book a repair service. We manage that end to end. So they're leak bot trained plumbers in a leak bot uniform that go in and find and fix the root cause of the problem. And uh, that's how we can really demonstrate and guarantee that ultimately that return on investment for the insurance partner. So LB have already seen this happen in real time. And yeah, they're confident there. They've already saved leaks effectively. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's on the basis of those results that they're, they're uh, accelerating the, the, uh, the deployment. Well, it's certainly a good way to start the year, Craig, there with the extra vote of confidence there from one of your customers. We've talked before about addressable households. Do you know what the addressable households could be for just LB? Um, I don't want to quote the wrong statistic off the top of my head. I'm sure, I, th- I think in the r and in the, in the uh, about LB, I think it says that their total member base is about 450,000 customers. So, okay. you know, relatively to some of the partners we've signed recently, they're quite a small partner. If you think of Lancer Schaffringar with 2 million customers, uh, nationwide in the United States with yeah. three and a half million customers, you know, relative to the recent deals that we've signed and we just started to execute, they're a, they're a relatively smaller partner. But um, nevertheless, they've been a great partner for us, uh, you know, shipping regular volumes week on week, driving our recurring revenue base. Um, and uh, it kind of is an indication to the potential of some of those more recent partnerships that we've just signed, like Nationwide, that we, we uh, 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 you know, due to launch early, early this year. Indeed. Well, you say they're a small customer, but there's still potential a lot of scope just with LB, isn't there? If they've got supposedly around about 450,000, you've delivered, or you will deliver 70,500 units of 10,000 plus 7,500. There's still a fair amount to go on uh, on just LB as well as, of course, the other ones. How are you feeling about uh, this year then, Craig? I mean, I guess it's really, we talked last year about more of the same and ramping up. Are you ready to sort of hit the year and deliver on those units when uh, when needed? Yeah, I mean the fact that we've announced this uh, three days into the new year is a is a you know a sign of our uh, a signal of our intent this year. So I mean we had an amazing year last year. We talked about it before Christmas, Mark, didn't we? You know, two hundred and fifty odd percent increase in the share price. I think a nine times increase in just the volume of trade, the value of uh, daily trades on our stock, and that was driven by you know signing nine different insurance partners, some of the biggest insurers in the world. Nationwide in the US, Lancer Schaffinger, IAG in Australia, the biggest Austra- uh, insurer in Australia and New Zealand. And, um, you know, the uh, and a massive change in investor sentiment and interest in, in, in what we're doing. And uh, I mean, our goal is to for 2024 to 20, make 23 look uh, relatively insignificant, uh, uh, you know, based mm-hmm. on the plans that we've got ahead. I mean, it's very exciting. Definitely more of the same, more announcements uh, with existing customers, new customers, with insurers in our core markets in in the UK, in Scandinavia, huge opportunity in the United States. Now we've signed nationwide, uh, more to come, really exciting pipeline over, over there. And then, um, you know, innovations around the edge as well. That's the core model working with insurers, but, you know, new R&D, exciting technology uh, project in Australia with, with IAG, you know, there'll be news to come through on that through the year. We ran a pilot with an alarm company with G4S last year. More news to come with that. I think that's an interesting model. And then you've got water companies. We've just uh, launched with Southern Water before Christmas based on the results of Portsmouth Water earlier in the year. And um, <clears throat> that's a really exciting new avenue of growth for us um, as well. So, yeah, investors can expect lots lots of news, lots of excitement. And, um, you know, we feel that, like we're just in the right place at the right time at the moment. The market for our product is huge. And the important thing is we deliver a really important environmental benefit. It's, you know, it's good for homeowners uh, protecting their property, saving water, preventing damage, but it's great for the environment too. And with the focus on preserving precious water resources around the world at the moment, um, we re- really feel we're just at the start of this journey. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Craig, for that update today and giving us a bit of a flavour of some of the news to come throughout the course of this year. But for now, thank you very much, Craig Foster, CEO of Ondo InsureTech. Thanks, Mark. Good to talk to you. 
If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.